We're filling our petrol. I'm gonna make them guess. You never know, this could be your mystery lady. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he wishes. Is it unloaded? No, it's oh. oh. Stuff it right in there. No. <laughs> He always has to talk sexual to his bike. I just don't understand it. What? Nothing. Well, hello, viewers of the YouTube. So, my husband and I are on our way to the Wheat Sheaf, which is a South African bar. Um, these guys actually did the catering for our wedding. And we had Boravos, which is a South African sausage, which is just the best. We had chicken flatties, we had steak. What else did we have? Oh, we had the best, what I think is the best pudding. They're called Cook Sisters. Now, in England, you can't actually get these and everywhere that I've found that does attempt to make them, they are shit. Roger, who is our South African caterer, caterer made our Cook Sisters and they were amazing. Look at hard man walking over, look how he struts, hello. I'm Mr. Rebel. I think she's trying to chat me out. No, I think he just wishes that I was I got his... an ID for a uh, cigarette. <laughs> Did you really? No. Oh. I think this, this geezer and his Audi is waiting. That's not nice, is it? Yeah, so we'll start again. So hello to all you viewers. Thank you for... Uh, Tuning in to another one of uh, Mr. Rebel's vlogs. <laughs> I got it right this time. As I said before, we're on our way to the Wheat Sheaf, lovely South African pub, to go and watch the. Uh... The game's showing off. To go and watch the England, not England, because England they're out. <laughs> um, to go and watch South Africa v Wales. Um, rugby match which should be good and uh, South Africa better win because if they don't win I'll be having words now before I forget I have to um, give a shout out and I, I'm sh I know it's not Grizz I'm the biggest traitor off which is uh, one of Mr. Rebel's friends from America so hello traitor off how are you um, you do make me laugh at some of your comments that you uh, you say to Mr. Rebel. Um, very flattered, so thank you. Oh, we're, we're pulling over. Why are we pulling over? Yeah, I'm just a forgetful bastard. I thought I forgot my keys. Oh, what, on the side? No, they're, they're in my pocket now. Oh, okay. Can I just stick my thumb in this side, please? I'm going to use fatter on the one side, so I can't ever get my thumb in there. Woohoo, done it. Okay, we're off, we're off. So today's actually been quite um, a good day. Woke up this morning, took my uh, my oldest son to his football game, which unfortunately their team lost. They weren't on uh, on the best of form, I have to admit. They lost 4-2. They did beat this team though, um, previously 5-3. Uh, but I just think they weren't in it today. But uh, we'll, get, we'll get the next one. My mum has got our youngest son, Mason. Um, so he's off terrorising his granny and granddad. And then my daughter, Shannon, is currently at a fun fair in Buckingham, which we will be going to later on because, well, toffee apples. Yum! I don't know what he's doing. He's a proper faffing around on his bike today. So I have warned him that he has to take it a little bit easy with me today because obviously as you saw his previous videos, the numpty came off his bike. Now when he came off his bike, you can you can hear his phone me as he's uh, coming off. Well that was me calling him and uh, once I'd spoken to him, he, uh, he said to me, oh, I'm alright babe, but, but my bike isn't. And I was like, oh for fuck's sake. How's the bike? Not how are you husband, hope you're alright. I was more concerned about his bike. Lovely old Betty. Ooh. 
Look at him showing off. He does this all the time. He revs his engine really loudly and he shows off. <laughs> so I hope that um, everyone's enjoying my husband's uh, vlogs and uh, you know, more subscribers the better. Because he, um, he really does love to do what he does. Some fucker needs to come and clean these stones up because I'll tell you one day a biker's gonna come around there and completely forget and see his ass. I've been to the gym this morning already. You know, trying to get fit for my uh, my holiday in a few weeks time to South Africa. Unfortunately, Mr. Rebel and, and my youngest isn't coming with um, due to work commitments and, and etc. But yeah, so he's, he's staying here looking after the little one. And I'm going gallivanting. Well, I wouldn't say gallivanting. I'm going for my brother's wedding. Uh, he's finally getting hitched. To be honest, I think I'm just going to spend the whole time sunbathing because me and sunshine equals happiness. <laughs> yeah, so at the gym, you know, you get all the meatheads. So they look like fucking giant lollipops, you know, really, really big on top. And then they have these skinny, skinny little legs. And I think it's hilarious because, come on, you've got to sort that shit out. It has to be a bit equal, you know what I mean? Well, anyways, I was there today. The only girl in the whole entire gym. There must have been about seven or eight guys in there. You know, all breathing heavily and going... Tss, 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 which I find hilarious. And I tend to laugh quite a few times um, and chuckle to myself. So I probably look insane. Um, but I do, I do find it very, very funny. Um, it can be quite intimidating, especially for females who want to weight train and, you know, lift and squat and all the rest of it. They don't seem to go down that side of the gym because all these men take up all the machines, uh, which does make it very difficult for us females to go up there, but I don't give a fuck. I tell them to, you know, get finished with the machine so I can get on it. Oh, fuck. <laughs> cyclist he's such an arsehole there was a kid there mr. rebel you know youngsters trying to keep fit and all I probably scared the shit out of the poor little guy he probably fell into the bush so I watched the episode where uh, my husband uh, does accents and uh, all of his accents are pretty shit to be honest <laughs> The only one that I think he does really, really, really well is uh, an Australian accent. He does that really, really well. And he actually sounds like a proper Aussie. He attempts to do um, a South African accent, uh, which again is absolutely terrible. And obviously my mother's has a really, really strong South African accent. Not that I can hear it because I think she sounds like a pommy. I think she sounds English through and through. But everyone else says she's got a really strong, strong South African accent. So she tries to speak like my mother. Yeah, it's, it's, it's quite funny to listen to, to be honest. I can't do a South African accent to save my life. Even that, you know, that's where I'm from, that's where I was born. I can do a pretty good Scouser's accent. Let, 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 me, let me see if I can... Uh, if I can speak in a Scouser's accent for the, for the rest of the time. So we go around these fucking corners. He's got, he goes too fucking fast. So my dad's a Scouser here in Liverpool when he was like 17. He went to South Africa and met my mum. And then they got married. See, back into the English. There's only certain words that I can't say in a Scouser's accent. But, uh... I think I do a pretty good job with the Scouser's accent. It's one of those ones that I'm uh, it's quite cute. Now me talking like a South African, well that's another thing, eh? I can't really talk like a South African. I sound quite bad. See? That's <laughs> just terrible. I'm such a loser, I tell you. My eyes are re really watering badly. Like really watering. The makeup's running into my eyeball.